Well, across our region, as you headed out the door this morning, you may be noticing slightly warmer temperatures, and that's because we've been as much as 15 degrees warmer in some spots than where we were this time 24 hours ago. And that's good news because we are seeing some rainfall across our region, and so that's helping everything stay uh, of the liquid variety this morning. And if we take a look off towards our easternmost counties, you can see that that heavier band of rain is just getting out of portions of southeastern Illinois. However, back down towards the south, we are still seeing those heavier showers get out of the way here around Princeton area, but it looks like Paducah is also getting into the dry time right now. And once this band of heavier rain pushes out, we are going to get a little bit of dry time in the afternoon hours, but notice that we start to see a few more showers back down towards the south and towards the west, and those are going to continue to track off towards our region as we go throughout the afternoon and evening hours. So we are tracking several chances of rain as we go throughout the day, and rain chances really are going to be continuing as we go throughout the rest of the work week. But the good news is is, is we're not anticipating any sort of winter weather throughout our region because we are tracking above average temperatures right now. And we're seeing a temperature in Poplar Bluff of 36 degrees with a feels like of 36 degrees, and that's because winds are calm at this hour, though it does look like there is a little bit of fog showing up on our camera. Temperature wise across our region, we're seeing the mid 40s for Cumberland and for Murray, mid 40s as well for Paducah, but back towards the west, we are still seeing the mid 30s. But again, everybody is above freezing, so we are only seeing rain showers hours out across our region this morning and temperatures as we go throughout the rest of the day are still going to be in the low 40s through the early morning hours. And then we're going to be getting into the mid to upper 40s by the time we make it to the afternoon and evening. And that's all out ahead of showers that are going to start to re-enter the region. So you are going to want to keep your Storm Track 3 apps handy today because those showers are going to start to work their way into our region uh, later on today. And so by the time we make it to about 7 o'clock this morning, well, again, those showers are going to be well off towards our east. And then we're going to get some dry time in the afternoon, but there still could be a few isolated light hit or miss showers before more scattered showers start to work their way into our area by the time we make it to about 9 o'clock tonight and notice that there's a heavier pocket of showers that's going to start to work its way into our region and we're going to see that hitting us by about two o'clock this morning or tomorrow morning I should say and within that heavier pocket of showers we could even see a few flashes of lightning and rumbles of thunder and by the time we make it to tomorrow morning we are once again going to be left with isolated light showers throughout the morning hours and then by the time we make it to the early afternoon we're again going to see light showers before more scattered showers work their way into our area throughout the day tomorrow when all of this is set and done, we could see two and a half to maybe three inches in isolated spots across our region, mainly in that purple color down towards the south and also up towards the north around the Mount Vernon area. And for this reason, we do have a risk of flash flooding, especially down into portions of northern Tennessee and southern Kentucky around the Murray area. And that's where you can see that medium risk in that yellow color. But further off towards the north, we do have a lower risk of flash flooding across portions of southeastern Illinois or southeastern Missouri and also northern Kentucky. And as we go through Throughout the day tomorrow, we are going to be seeing those rain chances, but they should start to taper off by Thursday. We are going to get a little bit of dry time by Friday before those shower chances return for the day on Saturday. Tomorrow's temperatures are likely going to be into the upper 40s to start, mid 50s by the time we make it to the middle of the afternoon, and then we should be topping out near 60 degrees for highs tomorrow, and overall temperatures are really going to be running well above average through Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So overall, not a bad forecast temperature-wise, but we do have quite a bit of rain chances across our region throughout the entire work week, and then by the time we make it to this weekend, we're going to be dealing with a few thunderstorms, especially on Saturday. We'll be drying out for Sunday and Monday though with highs still running well above average in the mid 40s and even the low 50s for most, mo most of us and we're not even going to get below freezing until about Sunday night into Monday and of course here's that viewer photo of the day <laughs> this sent in by Jim Carney from Alexander County in southern Illinois and it's a cute little armadillo there. <laughs> now Jim and I are friends on Facebook he loves okay. to take pictures of bald eagles and has amazing photos mm -hmm. but I saw that yesterday whenever he posted he said that this was only the second time that he had ever been able to capture one, an armadillo live. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess they are notorious for kind of being uh, roadkill. But <laughs> yeah. Glad to yeah. see that you captured it live. Good job, Jim. It's a very cute photo, Jim. <laughs> it is. Thanks, Garrett. All right. And we'll have a last look at your top stories and your forecast coming up after the break. Stay with us.